Good evening. One of the great companies that call New Jersey home is the Prudential Financial Corporation. Prudential's nickname is The Rock, but that nickname could just as easily apply to our next inductee, the former CEO and chairman of Prudential, Art Ryan. When Art came to Prudential in 1994, the company had a number of challenges, financial, reputational, technological. It needed a leader who could steady the ship and get it sailing again. The company's board pins its future on this math major who sold magazines in college for pocket money, went to work as a computer systems designer after his army service, then moved in and steadily rose up the ranks at Chase Manhattan. He righted the Prudential and set it on a course for the future where it reclaimed its heritage as one of the great financial service companies in the world. Art's influence goes well beyond just business. Under his leadership, Prudential put their stake firmly in the ground in Newark. Prudential has become a major sponsor of the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, one of the largest in the United States, as well as Prudential Center, home to the New Jersey Devils. All of this helped to stabilize and indeed revitalize downtown Newark. Prudential found a rock for the rock. Let's hear a little bit more about art. Arthur F. Ryan is a respected businessman known for being the first outsider to become CEO of Prudential Insurance. Arthur spent the first 22 years of his career working his way up the ranks at Chase Manhattan Bank, eventually becoming president and COO. In 1994, he became the first Prudential Insurance Chairman and CEO to be elected from outside the company. He took charge at a time of turmoil and exerted a steady hand to move the corporation forward. Perhaps most notably, he oversaw its conversion to stock ownership, resulting in the publicly traded Prudential Financial. Under his leadership, Prudential donated millions of dollars to support arts and education in its home state of New Jersey. On a personal level, he is active with the American Council of Life Insurers, New Jersey Performing Arts Center, and Council on Foreign Relations. Arthur Ryan now brings his business acumen to our own Hall of Fame. Please welcome the newest member of New Jersey Hall of Fame, Art Ryan. Thank you very much, John, and uh, thank you to the Hall of Fame board members for giving me this wonderful honor. You know, working and helping in Newark uh, for close to three decades has kind of become a labor of love for me. I can remember the early days where things were maybe not quite the way you would like to see them, and uh, people would frequently use the phrase, well, we'll do it, but not in Newark. I was always intrigued by Governor Kane's decision when he said we're going to have a world-class art center and it's going to be in Newark. He once told me it was the only time Democrats, Republicans, and Independents were together in opposing him. <laughs> but like the great leader he was and the help he received, it happened. But frankly, the real heroes of that whole story are the people who live and work in the city um, every single day. I've had the privilege to work with a lot of them. Some employees of Prudential, the Performing Arts Center, the Museum, Branchbrook Park, the Boys and Girls Club, I can go on and on. Those are the people who made that happen and will continue to make it happen. And I congratulate all of them for what they have done. I'm thankful to have been a small part in it. Thank you for honoring me. I'm delighted to be here. 